Welcome to Kat Sarah Yoga. I'm Kat and this is a rejuvenating yoga flow. Perfect for spring or any time because any time is a great time to glow. Enjoy the class. Find a comfortable seat. Close your eyes and allow your awareness to scan over your body, observing how you are feeling. Observing the support of the earth underneath you. Relaxing into your face and jaw, lips, teeth and tongue. Take some nice deep breaths. You might even inhale through the nostrils and exhale through an open mouth having a bit of a sigh and another nice deep breath in and out just in your own breath timing on your next inhalation shrug your shoulders right up to your ears and exhale them down your back and as you bring your shoulders down away from your ears really imagine that you're putting them into your back pocket Inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears and exhale them down your back. Finding lots of space between ears and shoulders. Just a couple more times, inhaling, shrug the shoulders up and exhaling them down. Noticing all the sensations that you feel around the shoulder area. See if you can feel the muscles of the mid-back working to draw the shoulders down. And keep the shoulders down away from the ears as if you could put them into your back pockets and keep them there. Be aware of the sensation of your breath flowing in and flowing out. Feel your spine is really tall, the muscles of your lower back supporting your lower spine. Inhale and on your exhalation drop your chin towards your chest keeping your lower back really nice and long. Feel the stretch in the back of your neck and when your inhalation organically occurs lifting your chin to expose your throat but not letting your head flop back. Exhale chin towards the chest back stays long, shoulders away from the ears, that pause at the end of the exhalation, you have a lovely stretch in the back of the neck, inhaling, looking up, feeling that space in the front of the throat, a gentle stretch, continue with your breath, exhaling, chin towards the chest, enjoying that moment of stillness, a stretch for the back of your neck, and inhaling, looking up, Lots of space in the back of the neck. This is extension and flexion of the neck, moving the neck through one of its ranges of motion to increase flexibility and melt away tension. One more round in your own breath timing, inhaling, looking up, feeling long in the back of the neck, space in the throat. Exhaling your chin down towards your chest, then inhaling, Bring your head back to centre, head, neck and spine aligned, shoulders relaxed. Exhale, tilting your head, bringing one ear down towards the shoulder but keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhaling, back to centre and exhaling, tilting your head over to the other side. That pause at the end of the exhalation, you feel the stretch in the side of the neck. Observe how it feels for you. Inhale as your head floats back to centre and exhaling, tilting your head over to the other side. All the time, keeping your shoulders really drawing down your back and away from your ears. Continue with your breath, all in your own breath timing. You may like to bring your hands down by your sides for a deeper stretch. And remember to give importance to those pauses in the circle of breath so that you can feel and enjoy that deep side neck stretch for that momentary pause at the end of each exhalation. 
and as the inhalation organically occurs, your head floats back to centre, melting away tension from your neck. Making this the last round, and on your next inhalation, bring your head back to centre. Exhale, turn your head. Inhale, bring your head back to centre. Exhale, turn your head the other way. And inhale, head to centre. Continue with your breath. Keep your shoulders drawing back and down. So it doesn't matter if your hands are on your knees or down by your sides. Still keep your shoulders drawing back and down as if you could slide them into a V shape towards the base of your spine. Inhaling, head to centre. Exhaling, turning your head to look over the shoulder, keeping chin level with the floor. Inhaling, head to centre. Exhaling, turning your head the other way. And feeling that nice stretch for the front side of the neck, that big rotator flexor muscle gets a nice stretch here. Melting away tension from the neck with every single breath. Make this the last round, take your time. Bringing your head back to centre. Bringing your hands back onto your knees or thighs. Then we're going to combine these movements together. So exhale, drop your chin towards the chest. And inhale, circling your chin up and around, making a full circle for the neck. All these movements for the neck, we did them one by one and now we're combining them together in these lovely circles. Keep going, inhaling as you circle up and exhaling as you circle down. Enjoying the changing stretches in the muscles of the neck and the very top of the back. Keep face and jaw relaxed. Making this the last round in this direction and as the chin comes down towards the chest, inhale, circling up the other way, exhaling down, continuing all in your own breath, timing, being aware of the circle of breath and even those momentary pauses in the circle of breath where you really have a chance to focus on the sensations that you feel throughout these movements in time with the breath. And as you lift your chin to expose your throat, make sure you're not letting your head flop back. Stay long and lengthen through the vertebra at the back of the neck. Taking your time, making this the last round. And as the chin comes down towards the chest for this last time. On your next inhalation, bringing your head back to center. The head, neck and spine all aligned. Change the cross of your legs. And it may not feel quite as natural this way, but we're keeping our bodies more even by practicing crossing the legs both ways. Observe how you feel. Bring palms to touch. On your next inhalation, stretching your arms up, interlock your fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling, exhaling as you sink your shoulders down your back. Small movement, inhale, slightly lift the chin without back bending, and then exhale, bring your head to centre and push your hands forward in front of you, rounding through your upper back. Inhale, reaching arms up again. Release your fingers and exhale your hands down all around you as if drawing a big sun all around you. Bring palms to touch. Inhale, reach your hands up. Interlock your fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling, pushing the palms away as you sink your shoulders down your back, keeping the head centered. Then tiny lift of the chin and you'll feel this stretch around the shoulder blades. Make sure you're not back bending to compensate to keep your posture neutral. Exhale, bring your head to center. Round your shoulders as you push your palms out in front of you. Inhale, reaching your hands up. And exhale, release your fingertips, imagining drawing a big sunshine all around you as the hands float down. Bring palms to touch. And again, inhaling, reaching your hands up. 
Interlock your fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling, keeping your head centered as you exhale. Inhale, slight look up, lift of the chin. Exhale, pushing your hands forward, drop your chin round your shoulders, hollow out to the chest. Inhale, reaching up again, release your fingers and exhale as your hands sweep down and around, imagining drawing a big sun all around you. Bring palms to touch. Inhale, reaching your hands up again. Exhale, twisting, looking out over your back shoulder, let your hands come down. Inhale, reaching up and exhale, twist the other way. Hands float down to wherever they naturally settle. Inhale, reaching up and exhale, twist. Continue with your breath. Inhale, reaching your hands up and exhale, twisting, feeling that spiral twisting in the spine like a spiral staircase from the base all the way to the tip, looking out over your shoulder. You can even look with your face, with your eyes, to stretch the eyes. Make this the last round. Bring palms to touch and exhale your hands in front of your heart. Come forward onto hands and knees, with hands under shoulders, knees under hips, spreading out your fingers, creases between your wrists and hands parallel with the front of your mat. The elbows are soft, so they're not looking straight. Keep your tummy gently drawing in towards your spine and your shoulders sliding down away from your ears. Gently push the floor away from you so that you're not dipping in between the shoulder blades. You feel the shoulders set in their perfect position on your back. Imagine you have a light on your chest and as you inhale, shine that light in front of you, lifting the chin and turning your tailbone up, up cat. Tuck your tailbone under as you exhale, round your spine, Push the floor away, hollow out the chest, relax the neck, let your head hang down, down cat. Continue with your breath, inhaling, shining the chest through to up cat. You might even curl your toes under to get the pads of the toes to the earth. Bring the tops of the feet to the mat as you tuck your tail round your spine, release your neck, let your head hang down and exhale. Inhaling, shining your chest through to up cat. Make sure you slide your shoulders down your back away from your ears. And exhaling, rounding again. Release your neck, let your head hang down. Continue with your breath. Inhaling on up cat, thinking of the chest being nice and open as the breath flows in. Exhaling into down cat. And bring your bottom down towards your heels, belly to the thighs, forehead to the mat. Don't worry if your bottom doesn't touch your heels or your belly doesn't touch the thighs. Breathing here in child pose. Turn your palms to face upwards. Notice how this gives you a stretch in between your shoulder blades. Breathe into that stretch. Turn your palms to face downwards again and ground them down into the earth. Inhale, rise up to hands and knees. Curl your toes under. Exhale, send your bottom up and back into the air, into downward facing dog. Imagine touching your tailbone to the line between the ceiling and the wall. Inhale with control, come back to hands and knees. Bring the tops of your feet to the mat and exhale round, sinking your bottom down towards your heels, belly to the thighs, forehead to the mat. Inhale, hands and knees, curl the toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here, clarifying the position, relaxing your neck, let your head hang down. Imagine being a straight line from hands to tailbone. When you're ready, slowly inhaling onto hands and knees and exhale your bottom to your heels, belly to the thighs, forehead to the mat into child pose. Flow with your breath, inhale hands and knees, exhale sending your bottom up and back into downward facing dog it's okay for the knees to be bent and the heels to be lifted you may like to stay in downward dog for a few breaths or move with every breath if you find your back rounding in downward dog then bend the knees a little bit more and really press your hands into the earth, working your tailbone up and back towards that line between the ceiling and the wall. Last few rounds of breath here, making your way down into child pose and resting here, bottom on the heels, belly on the thighs. And if your forehead is on the mat, you could turn your head side to side a few times, feeling the forehead have a lovely massage on the mat. On your next inhalation, rise up to hands and knees. 
Take a few moments to clarify your flat cat position, hands under shoulders, hips over knees, gently pushing the floor away from you and drawing your tummy in towards the spine so you're not sagging through your lower back. Gazing straight down at the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale as you lift your back leg up higher than hip height and shine your chest through like an up cat. Exhale, round your spine as you bring your nose towards your knee like in down cat. Inhale, lifting your back leg up higher than hip height, shine the chest through. Exhale, rounding the spine, nose towards the knee, relax your neck, let your head hang down. Continue with your breath, inhaling, shining the chest through, one-legged up cat. Exhale, rounding nose towards the knee, one-legged down cat. Last round here, really beam your chest forward as your leg raises high. Then exhale, really push the floor away to create loads of space to step your right foot forward in between your hands. And it's okay to shuffle that foot forward, press your hips forward as far as they will go and make sure the right knee is over the right ankle. Draw your tummy in, lift your pelvic floor, sweep your arms up into lunge balance. If your shoulders feel tense, bend your elbows to help drop the shoulders down the back. Have a sense that your tailbone is tucking down towards the earth and press your hips forward. This will give you more of a hip flexor stretch for the left. Straighten your arms, palms forward, dropping your shoulders down your back, like making a Y shape with your arms. Inhale, exhale, as you bring your hands down back and behind you with palms facing forward, squeezing shoulder blades together and drawing them down your back. Inhale, reaching up again, arms into the Y shape and exhale, squeezing shoulder blades together, hands come back and down, palms facing forward. Repeat one more time, then this time exhaling, bringing your hands back and then Palms come to touch the floor, either side of your front foot. Inhale up onto your fingertips. Exhale, ground your hands as you pull your hips back, rounding over your front knee. Inhale, press your hips forward, lift up onto fingertips, feel lifted from your armpits. Ground the hands, exhale, pull your hips back, especially that right hip, straightening the front leg as much as you can, rounding your upper body over the knee. Inhale forward, so you're using your back muscles to be lengthened over the front leg. Keep going with the breath, all in your own breath timing and being aware of those pauses in the circle of breath, that pause at the end of the exhalation, enjoying the deep hamstring stretch that you get. And as your inhalation organically occurs, pressing the hips forward, lengthening your back, lifted from the armpits, not compressing into your fingertips. And exhaling, drawing back, rounding over when you're ready. Flowing with your breath. Coming forward now for the last time. And then on your exhalation, grounding your hands, either side of your front foot, step back into downward facing dog. Have a paddle out for the feet, dropping alternate heels. Then inhaling, coming to hands and knees. And exhaling, rounding down into child pose. Inhale, floating back to hands and knees. Exhale here. Ready for some one-legged up cat, down cats. Inhale, shine your chest forward as you lift your left leg up higher than hip height. Exhale, round your spine, bringing your left knee towards your nose. Inhaling, shine the chest forward, lifting that back leg up high. Squeeze your buttock, draw your tummy in. Exhale, rounding, nose towards the knee. Hollow out the chest, push the floor away. And again, inhale, shine the chest, lift the legs, squeeze the butt. Exhale, rounding. One more time. Keep your tummy drawn in to support the spine. Last time, rounding. And exhale, push the floor away, make loads of space for your knee to come towards the nose and then step forward in between the hands into a lunge. Press your hips forward. Make sure your left knee is over the left ankle directly and inhale, sweep your arms up into lunge balance. Remember to keep the shoulders away from the ears and it's okay to bend the elbows to help you do this. Keep tucking your tailbone under. 
Inhale, straighten your arms, palms face forward. And exhale, squeezing shoulder blades together as hands come back and down, still palms facing forward. Keep going with your breath. This is excellent for correcting hunching shoulders and for toning the muscles of your back giving the muscles of your chest a stretch. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling down. And on this last round, ground your hands either side of your front foot. Inhaling up onto fingertips. Remember, use the power of your back to do that. Exhale, draw the hips back, straighten the front leg as you round over your knees, straightening the front leg as much as you can. Inhale up onto fingertips. Exhale, draw the hips back, straighten the front leg as much as you can. And it's okay for the sole of the front foot to lift up off the floor. We keep flowing with the breath, inhaling up onto fingertips using your postural muscles. So your hands are really floating, but just brushing the floor with the fingertips. Exhale, rounding. And keep flowing with the breath. Enjoying the stretches that you feel in those momentary pauses in the circle of breath. Make sure you keep your face and draw relaxed all the time. Last round, coming forward, ground the hands and then step back into downward facing dog. Have a nice paddle out for the feet, dropping alternate heels down. And taking a moment in stillness in downward dog, really stretching your tailbone up and back, a long lean line from hands to tailbone. Inhaling, coming onto hands and knees. And exhaling, sinking your bottom down into child pose. Melting everything into the mat. Relaxing face and jaw, lips, teeth and tongue. Draw your tummy and lift your pelvic floor. Bring your hands under your shoulders and slowly roll up to sitting. Come up into a high kneel with knees underneath the hips. Place your hands into the sacroiliac area where the spine meets the pelvis and use the heels of your hands to feel like you're spreading the sacroiliac joint where the spine meets the pelvis and at the same time pressing your hips forward, lifting your heart, rolling your shoulders back and squeezing your shoulders together. You can lift the chin but don't let the head flop back so keep length in the back of your neck. Feel as though your thighs are rolling inwards in an internal spiral of rotation. This subtle activation will help keep openness in the lower back. Keep the shoulders drawing down the back and squeezing together, lifting your heart. This is modified camel pose, an energizing and uplifting gentle back bend. Draw your tummy and lift the pelvic floor as you come back to centre neutral pelvis. Inner hip bones level with the back rim of bone at the back of the pelvis. Release your arms down by your sides. Inhale, reaching one arm up and exhale over into a side lean. Keep your tummy drawn in, pelvic floor lifted. And inhale back to centre, feeling lifted from your core. Exhale, release your arm down. And inhale, the other arm floats up. Exhale, reaching down the leg into a side lean. Think of the side of the waist shortening as the other side stretches. Inhale, back to centre, feeling lifted from the midline of the body, bringing your hands to your hips. Bring your weight over into your left knee and extend your right leg out. Bring your arms out to shoulder height with shoulders away from the ears. Inhale as you reach and extend over your right leg. Let your right hand float down to the right leg wherever it naturally settles. Reaching your left arm up, exhaling over into a side lean in gate pose. Breathe deeply into the left hand side of your body, feeling that energizing side stretch. You might tuck your chin and look up towards your top elbow if that's comfortable for your neck. And maybe you might look down or keep the head centered. Imagine your back was flat against a wall so you're not tipping forward at all. And then sucking the tummy and lifting the pelvic floor as you come back to centre. Bring your hands onto your hips. Bringing your right knee back under the right hip, nice and centred, neutral pelvis. Bring the left leg out. Float your arms out to shoulder height, shoulders away from the ears. Breathing here for a moment, extended fingertip to fingertip. 
Inhale as you extend over your left leg. Exhale, drop your left hand down to the left leg. Inhale, reach your right arm up and extend over to the left, breathing naturally, breathing into your right hip, breathing into the side bodies, especially stretching through that right side body, but make sure you can still breathe into your left side ribs as well, so not collapsing through there. Maybe tuck your chin and look up towards your top arm. Maybe look down towards your bottom hand. See what feels good for your neck. Maybe keeping head to centre. And then drawing your tummy in as you come back up to centre. Bring the hands to the hips. Bring your left knee under your hip and sit down onto your heels. Bring your hands to the mat and your knees out wide, big toes touching. Extend forward on the mat into hair pose. Sliding your hands forward as far as they'll go, spread out the fingers. Forehead comes to the mat. Maybe use your hands to give your lower back a little massage. And massage around that sacred iliac area where the spine meets the pelvis. You'll be feeling a nice stretch there. Then when you're ready, reaching your hands out in front again. Grounding the hands down, nice spread out fingertips. Tailbone working towards the heels. Nice deep breaths here. Breathing down into your lower back. Relaxed face and jaw. Relaxed lips, teeth and tongue. Slide your hands back underneath your shoulders. Draw your tummy in. Lift your pelvic floor. Coming all the way up to sitting. Moving the flesh of the buttocks out the way, soles of the feet together, quite a good distance in front of you in seated star pose. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips, rounding over if it's comfortable to do so. You can keep your heart lifted if that's more comfortable, using your postural muscles to support the upper body. Or if it's okay to round forward, then that feels good too. And just melting into this pose, looking for the stretch around the sacroiliac area where the spine meets the pelvis, maybe the outer thighs and buttocks. If you feel this stretch mainly in your inner thighs, then move your feet a little further away from your body. So last breath here, and then we're coming up to sitting. Close your knees together like a book. Make sure you're not sitting on a block or anything, that your bottom's directly on the mat. And hug your knees in in cosmic egg pose, balancing on the back edges of your sit bones, rounding your spine. When you're ready, lowering yourself down via your side onto your back. And hug your knees in, having a gentle rock side to side. Feel this lovely massage for the flesh, either side of the base of the spine. Lovely massage for your lower back. Keeping your right knee hugged in, extend your left leg out along the mat, flexing both feet, grounding the entire length of the back of the left leg into the earth so that leg feels activated. Breathe into a relaxed belly. Face and jaw relax. Deep belly breaths, feeling your belly expanding against the thigh and keep thinking of your right sit bone extending towards the foot of the mat. Relax your feet, relax the ankles. Take your right arm out to shoulder height, your left hand on your right knee. Take a nice inhalation and as you exhale, draw your right knee across the midline of your body just as far as it's comfortable to go. Shift your left hip a little under the right if you can to stack the hips. You may be able to get your right knee all the way to the floor on the left side of your body, but you may not. And you could rest it on a block or a cushion if that feels more comfortable. Enjoy a few nice deep breaths here. Relax your whole body. Last deep breath here. Bring your right knee back to centre, coming back onto your back with knees hugged in and have another rock side to side, massaging out the lower back. 
Come back to centre, knees hugged in towards the tummy. Keeping your left knee hugged in. Straighten your right leg out along the mat. Ground down through any points of contact between the back of the right leg and the mat. Flexing your feet, pushing the heels away. Curling your toes towards you, breathing into your belly. Relax your ankles, bring your left arm out to the left side, right hand to the left knee, breathe in. And exhale as you draw your left knee over to the right hand side of your body. Maybe bringing it all the way down to the earth, but don't worry if it doesn't go that far. Make sure you feel comfortable. Do come back to centre if it's not comfortable. And you can always rest your right knee on a cushion or a block for some added support if that feels more comfortable. Breathing into the stretches that you feel. A very deep twist. A lovely stretch for the left outer hip. And excellent for massaging internal organs. So really good for digestive health and the health of the other abdominal organs. A nice stretch across the lower back as well. Breathing deeply here. Relax your whole body. And last deep breath here. Slowly coming back to centre. Hugging your knees in. Rocking left to right. And keeping your knees together, circling the knees, feeling this massaging all the flesh around the base of the spine at the sacrum, a few times in each direction. Lovely feel-good massage. Bring your feet down to the earth, letting your knees knock together, toes turning in and heels turning out. Arms are down by your sides, palms up. If your back feels tender, stay like this. Or if your back's okay, just separate the knees, letting your right knee flop out to the right, straightening out the leg. Left knee flops out to the left, straightening out the leg, nice and open across the hips. Make sure that your shoulders are sliding down your back and away from your ears. And take a few moments to completely relax here. Feel the earth supporting you. Be aware of your breath. Feel as though every exhalation is releasing you more into a healing place of rest. Every exhalation releases you more into a healing place of rest. And I'll invite you to stay here relaxing beyond the end of this video. When it's time for you to arise, give your fingers and toes a wiggle, hug your knees in, have a rock side to side and stretch in any other way that your body needs. Taking your time, rolling over onto your side, Use the strength of your arms to make your way up to sitting. Notice how you feel to be upright again, awake and alert, and take a few deep breaths here. I hope you have enjoyed this yoga class. Please do like the video and share it online. Tell your friends you've been practicing Cat Sarah Yoga. Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart and take a moment to thank yourself for your yoga practice today. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Namaste.